The Woodland Realm is under attack in today's Dawnless Days battle and they are facing the forces of Sauron. But it is going to be one tough, tough fight. Sauron has brought his beasts of war, his mountain trolls and his most evil orcs to this battle. And it is going to be a glorious, glorious fight. It's a 1v1 but it told it's a very, very close battle between the two sides. So always down to check out an epic bloodbath in this mod and yeah I do like the Wooden Realm as well the Wooden Realm one of my favourite factions so uh, yeah I'm always a big fan of uh, checking them out but they're very much hidden in the forest in this one I guess that is kind of the way of the Wood, wood Elves but uh, yeah well, I'll try and get as uh, co much close up as possible it is a, uh, a very very tough one to uh, to see a little bit uh, with the, the forest there but we've got uh, forest archers back here we've got Lord's Last Garland and some more forest archers Raining down death, already trying to get some hits on these orc pillagers here as they're marching slowly and they need to get moving, get into action, to be honest. Uh, we also do have a reinforcement uh, force here. Thrandall is the uh, the general today. He's hidden in this forest, if I can see him. There is his uh, unit. There is Thrandall himself. Uh, so yes, he's got uh, some of his, uh, his cavalry as well with him. He's got those forest riders there, so they're getting prepared to go in. Looks like the trolls are coming forward with the rest of the force. So we're going to see uh, these orc pillagers already getting focused down. And it looks as though Morgul Raiders and Uruk Throng are going to make up the next wave. Morgul Orcs, the first wave, and then the, like, the final uh, attack is going to be made from Uruk Bodyguards and Uruk Spears and Guards of the Teeth. Yes, yeah, so there are like, almost like a tier system anyway. It's like the cheap trash stuff to start with, and then it's like the better stuff. And then it's the elites coming in last. I do like the way that Mordor set, uh, like, set up his army. be interesting to see how it goes. I'm very narrow front that they're both fighting on. Uh, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see who wins this one. It looks like both sides now going in. The uh, elves here forming square, which will help against large units, but not necessarily against just these orcs. Yes, if you're enjoying Dawn Stays and would like to see some more glorious Lord of the Rings battles on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a click to show your support. It really does help out the channel. And looks like we've got Forest Sentinels coming into the fight now as well. The Elven Shock infantry has been thrown in there, trying to hack and slash at these other throng as they come in. It looks like the uh, trolls being focused on as well. Mounted trolls are a lot weaker than Olokai, so those archers might have a bit of joy taking them out. The trolls down in now, bashing away at the Elves, trying to do some damage. Hold the line! Square forming here should stop the trolls a little bit, but we'll see. They're winning decisively, apparently. The elves here fighting on hard against the uh, the Eurotron. I mean, these forest spears aren't as good as last garland spears. You can see it shows. We're already down to 50 of them left. They're getting whittled down. Um, yeah, the forest sentinels going to need to be sent in. They have only got a few more of them left. And a rear charge coming in from the trolls now. Um, uh, he's going to, uh, to do some serious damage the there. The men fleeing already. I presume that's going to be some of the forest spears. Yeah, these trolls now getting in behind the elven line, but they are going to get shot in the back as well, so you need to be careful of that. Honestly, I know that they probably want to leave that uh, cab charge until the last minute to send in, but they might need to go in now. It really might. Yeah, this was sent in to me by uh, a member of my Discord, so if you want to send in your own replays, feature on the channel feel free to send them into my discord the link is down below in the description as always even if you like and even if you want to get involved in some battles we do loads of like streams and scenarios on the channel so yeah if you're a veteran player or whether you're a, a newbie all are welcome to join Yeah, the elves here though are struggling, these forest spears are dying. But they are routing some of the York pillagers, that is a win. Forest sentinels are losing decisively here though, the trolls are still knocking them about, doing a lot of serious damage there. In some areas they are winning, forest sentinels here against Uruk spears. Spears do not do well up against shock. So uh, surprising that the elves brought so many spears to their own because they are facing a lot of Mordor shock. There you go, they're going for a fight. And there you go, the Elven Archers now getting charged down by Sons of the Eye. This is not what they needed. Those Archers need to be supporting. 
the Lord's Last Garden, a very good hybrid unit, they'll be good in melee as well. They're getting charged now by the Sons of the Eye. They're going to do as much damage as possible to these elite archers. It's not a great charge on them, but uh, as that battle goes on, I'm sure they'll uh, start to win the fight the Sons of the Eye. Trolls are routing that right flank there, and here we go. The Elven Cav has been activated. Here come the Forest Riders and Thranduil. They need to get into the back lines here, do as much damage as possible to these Uruk bodyguards and shock infantry and things like that. They really, really need to. But yeah, let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. Are you rooting for Team Mordor or are you rooting for the Elves? Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. See the trolls down here, still whacking away at those Elves. Another one falls though. Glorious. They are starting to kill these trolls off. They're wavering at two of them left. Orc Pillage is going in. Here we go. Cav is now going to go into the back lines here of the, uh, of the Orc. The Orc Bodyguard is going to get the full force of the charge here. What a bad hit at all. But those Orc Bodyguards that are, yeah, got really hit. They're already down like half strength. Jeez. Guards the TV to protect that rear line almost with their pole arms and stop the Cav from getting uh, some good charge off. Thrandall took fair amount of losses as well. They need to be careful. I mean, if they can win the flanks, uh, like certainly that, that flank here where they're still in with the fight and they've got a good chance of, uh, of winning. They just need to mop up these units while their infantry holds on, but their infantry is nearly dead. The last column blades are starting to die. Fight, Can't really see what's going on in there. There is some elves left, a few of them. Many last golem blades are fighting on against these uh, guards of the teeth. But yeah, there's a thin, thin line in there. For a sentinels still holding on the air. Cav is getting focused down and killed off. That's a win. The charging are a throng, it seems that's their uh, new target. But yeah, elves seem like they have very little left when it comes to infantry. Um, it's just really their cavalry left, which is not a good, th uh, good sign at all. The archers are holding on as well, obviously. They need to focus. I mean, they can't even really focus on Othra. They need to shoot down those uh, pole arms. They're what are going to stop the uh, the cav if anything's going to stop them. And there comes the cav again into the side, supporting their forest sentinel comrades. Send these orcs packing back to Mordor. There you go, they're wavering though, that's not a good sign. The Forest Sentinels are about to give in. 37 of them left and they're starting to waver. Oh, and we've got Shock Infantry now getting towards the Archers. I mean, they're nearly out of ammo, but a good charge there from, this forest, from the Forest Riders has possibly saved these Archers. Those forest archers were still firing whilst in melee. I do like that they're just like unfazed, like, yeah, don't mind us, we're just gonna keep shooting at you. We've got Thrandall now engaged on it. All of his infantry has been routed, Thrandall's infantry. He's gonna need to uh, pull off a bit of a miracle here. And then we've got guards of the teeth getting shot at. They're looking all the wrong way. I don't know why this uh, mortal player's got his forces looking that way. He needs to turn around, look back towards the elven archers deal with them because the cav is now back defending them. But here we go, looks like the cavalry's going to go in for a charge onto some uh, orc pillagers down here. And they go, good charge. We have revealed their concealed men. Right as they're getting speared off though, the cav is starting to take severe casualties. These are only medium cavs, so after a while they will start to die. Forest archers hold on with the support of the cavalry there, that's lucky. But more orcs are arriving, and you can see now Mordor's uh, mobilizing his uh, troops he had in reserve over here. He needs to send those in, go and tie down those archers. The archers need to try and hold on and let the, uh, the cab do all the heavy lifting. These elite lords of Asgard, and they've got to do some really big lifting. 
these guys are going to have to like be the backbone of the army now. 85 of them left, still looking good. Uh, Mordor's like lighter infantry is like weakest of Arsana Rao, which is a good sign as well. And this small force over here, though, of elves is probably going to get wiped out. Forest archers down here fighting Morgul orcs on their own. Probably not going to go well. If they were more elite archers, I'd be like, yeah, they've got a chance. Of. I don't really think these guys have that much of a chance. And they're getting surrounded by Uruk Throng anyway. Uruk Spears. So yeah, they're, they're, they're done for. But the uh, cab over here has managed to do some good work. They managed to route a lot of these, uh, these units over here. So that is a win. Balance of power, 500 against 700. It's not out of the... Uh, power of the elves to win this one still looks like we're going to see a ch looks like the forest allies. riders over here are going to shift to try and protect their archers not a bad idea don't know what these uh, it looks like the orcs are just trying to uh, run down the last of the archers there and there you go the uh, elves won on that flank and they kind of have more to sort of squished between their two forces I mean this force over here very small just a cav unit and an archer unit but uh, yeah, they, uh, I've got them kind of squished. Mordor here has to now make a decision what he's going to do. If you play defensive, I think it's probably his best move. I mean, the Cavs not going to come charging against Uruk Spears or his pole arms. He's really blobbing up. Oh, this is a little cowardly here from Mordor if he stays blobbed up and like that. I mean, I play defensive, but I won't try and like a uh, new box or anything like that. Looks like he is actually shifting out his infantry. I just realized Mordor brought no archers, which also has kind of been like a problem dealing with this cav. And it looks like we're going to see a charge from the elves. They're just going in in column formation. I mean, let's stretch the guys out so they can uh, hit more men, hit more units. Bingo the elves. They're slicing and dicing the heads off these orcs. Cav has gone in again, good charge. Well, I say that there's spears down here, so they're probably getting uh, damaged by them, so maybe not the best of charges. Still got one very healthy forest rider. Thrandall's still relatively healthy. One of the forest riders is starting to die. So they've just got to attack where the pole arms and spears are. The archers are getting speared up by those guards to the teeth. I mean, they could charge uh, Othrod here, their general, but he has got pawns behind him, so I think they're willing that to happen. There he is, Othrod. That's only a face a mother could love, and there he goes, getting charged. There he is down there, the general. Mortals armies. Good charge onto his general unit there, actually doing some significant damage. The uh, guards have done really got engaged. Now actually squishing the uh, orc bodyguard from the other side as well. This is a shameful display. They're beating the um, guards of the teeth of the archers as well, so that is a win. I mean, they've kind of blobbing up those archers, which is a problem. Uh, on the other side, forest archers are going in, but again, they look like they're getting beaten back. They're just not that great in melee. Not as good as the uh, Last Garland Blades or the, sorry, the Last Garland Archers or the Lord's Last Garland. There you go, that's those archers on that flank breaking, giving in. Could the cab maybe charge them now that the Immortal Orcs are breaking formation? Absolutely. Can we uh, see them? We'll see. Here comes the cab. Uh, they didn't really get a great charge off, actually. Cal, I think, has got stuff on like the odd yaw here and there. It's a turn into a very close fight. It's a shame that we've been fought in amongst the trees. You can't really see what's going on. Guards teeth though here have been routed by all those archers. That is a big win there. Randall is still going in as well. He's still trying to do some damage. He's uh, half, well, just over half strength now. The other... Uh, but, um, the other guards of the team are starting away from break. Oh no, that is that one re-rallying. 
They both are still alive. The guards see the face in the wrong way, so I think that's helping the archers. Elves are slicing and dicing away from the door. Heading them all. I like it. Keep it up, Elves. Keep it up. What is the cab up to? We're seeing him behind at the moment, looking for an opportunity. They are wavering some of these swords. Our men are breaking off. That spear is on the edge, just kind of protecting the, the, uh, the front line from any cab charge. That's a good charge there, breaking even into the square. Did some damage to this unit there. You can see losing. Might just have to start risk, risking the cab against the uh, Uruk Spears. He's going to have hope breaking through. Yeah, that's on the side of the square there, just trying to, you know... That, that square there's on the side of this formation, just trying to prevent any cab charges. It's a smart idea. Randall's bodyguard getting stuck down here, and they're getting speared up by the guards of the team. You need to be careful. Randall does not want to be lost. Looks like they're just going to run down these uh, these Uruk bodyguards, make sure they don't return. Not a bad idea. Army losses could come into it at the end of the day. It's th um, 350 against 1,200 elves. Very close at this point. There we go, another charge coming in. This time into the looks of the Uruk bodyguard. That's better to place the charge. Get a really good, nice charge in there. The routed something. Guards are seeking waving down here. Morgul orcs breaking. Right on cavalry. Kill every last one of them. You know, recharge it looks like. The archers down here, they're just gonna keep on going. The cab is the last hope. The spears are being reorganized. Whether this is to protect this flank, I don't know. They just they are just blobbing up at this last sort stand. A bit cowardly. I won't lie, but here we go. Cav coming in. Not, not a bad charge again onto the side where there are uh, Earth bodyguards. And some of the spears. Uh, all the polons are really engaged in this sort of corner. Fighting on him here, getting stuck in the shrubbery. We can't see him. Lord's well, last guard on a good fight. Doubt there are any match the Euro Quarter Guards. Obviously, Randall's dismounting with his cows. Seriously, this is the move they're going for. I have learned recently that like Cavian has retained their sort of like like their, their stats. I certainly like the sums the I do. So I imagine it's the same with the Elven King and these Forest Riders. So uh, then going in might not be a bad idea. They're the, the, the Forest Riders break. Randall's going into combat. They're the last 19 of his men. Maybe he feels like it's futile fighting on horseback. Don't see any of these last remaining troops wavering just yet. They might need Ostrod to die to have a chance of uh, winning this one. Oh, the spears are broken. The Uruk spears are broken. Men are running, cowards. I think so. Are the, uh, the forest riders have already broken. And maybe they return. 100 against 142. There's now less than 100 L's. 99 of them. I think the Uruk Spears just rallied. Yeah, there you go, the Uruk Spears re-rallying. Re they need to, um, like, flank around the Elves, just try and route them that way. Lord's Last Garland are still holding on, but one of the uh, Forest Rangers or Forest Archers is breaking. Bit of a flank there by the Uruk, uh, by the Uruk Spears. 
fight. Find these old glass Colin. General has fallen for Mordor. Othron has fallen. Numbers are looking at very close. 51 against 95. It really is coming down to the last dregs. And Othron has started a waiver. Thrandall is winning alongside the uh, Lord's Last Garden. They're both winning their fight. And it looks like the Elder might just win this one by the skin of their teeth. The Chevrons, the uh, Thrandals earn are pretty insane. There you go. The Orcs break at the last second. And the Woodland Realm has successfully defended its territory. We'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. What a battle. I mean, this was sent by Smoke and Aces, who was playing as the Woodland Realm. So thank you very much, man, for sending it in. Thrandall getting four, uh, 347 kills. Uh, his Las Garland Blades, 151 kills. The uh, Forest Sentinels, 184, 192 um, the Spears, yeah, not doing so great. Only 88 kills for the best of them. Forest Archers, 166, 108 kills. Uh, his uh, Lord's Last Garden, 298 kills. 280, uh, sorry, 186 kills. The Cav getting 352 kills, 349. Very nice. Then we have Olaf uh, Gwenthe playing as Mordor. 214 kills with the Morgul Orcs. 118 kills with the Uruk Throng. 95 kills with these Orc Pillagers. Uh, 127 kills with the Morgul Raiders there. Two, 102 with the Uruk Spears. 137 with the Guards of the Teeth. Uh, another one getting 209 kills. And then the Trolls getting 109 kills. But there you go, guys. That is today's Dawnless Days battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.